The following is an encore presentation of New Expressions. And it is Friday morning. It is 5 past 10. It is New Expressions time. My co-host, Craig Stevens, good morning, mi amigo. Hey, it is a good morning, isn't it, here oh, in the New South Wales Central Coast? It is a good morning. You brought me coffee. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. Uh, Nothing happens until the coffee hits the veins. You know, well, actually, no. God first, then Java. Amen. Come on. Yeah, in that order. Yeah, like Feet hit the ground, praying. This and that, blah, blah, blah. Feed hit this building, coffee. Now work begins. <laughs> Everything else was preparation. Well, Setting the, the groundwork. Yeah, the fun begins. The fun's always. It's just 24 7. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> if it's not fun, I'm sorry. This is the wrong face. No, I'm having a good time. You got to be kidding me. In all seasons. Come on. That's Come right. On. That's right. I you can know. do all things in all seasons. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, you know, it is that we've been rescued to uh, mediocre life, isn't I mean, sorry, abundant <laughs> life, isn't yes, it? You that know, is correct. It is that uh, life to the full, life to overflowing <laughs> in abundance was the very intent of Jesus' rescue story for us. That's right. Right. You know, um, in all seasons. Yeah, well, there's still kill and destroy that goes on, mm-hmm. but but he has brought the most glorious new life, and uh, and if you're not living that, well, then there's grace to repent. That's right. I mean, it's no no sense to be you know fretting about COVID. What? Sorry, there's things to be done in this COVID season. You can do Come all on. things Come in on. this season too. There's something you can do. A different activity. It may not be an outdoor activity, but there are other activity. Prayer is an activity. Fasting is an activity. Come on. It's a different kind Come of on. activity. That's Come right. On. Amen. And, Am uh, I preaching right now? Is it? You are. Am I preaching? Am I, I preaching, Joe Wilder? that's what's happening. You are <laughs> preaching, brother. Preaching, brother. <laughs> but we preaching got a preacher today, don't we? Don't. Uh, hang on. Hang on. Now, we refer to this person as a howitzer. That's your usual term. That's, that's right. Correct. That's a, um, a, <laughs> it's a, it's a weapon. Long range. Uh, Weapon. Maximum impact. That's weapon. right. <laughs> That's right. Boom. It's coming. So introduce our guests. Well, every every Friday morning, we just spend a moment bragging on Jesus and on the kingdom and Amen. celebrating that. That's right. And the conversation is always with senior leaders in the body of Christ about what we sense God is saying and doing, what he's up to, what, what, he's, uh, you know, what, what is the activity of the Spirit of God amongst us, and just having some discernment mm. and understanding around that. And... Uh, well, today um, is 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 a dear 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 friend of mine and and friend to this program and and um, without being familiar, an absolute kingdom giant, Pastor Kim Jones from Liberty Family Church is the senior leader Welcome. of the faith community just up the road in Gosford, yeah. and uh, it is an extraordinary honour to have you always uh, as part of this uh, program and to to hear your voice and to hear. Um, you know the the heart that you carry the father for our region is is just a it's just an extravagant grace so we're, we're extremely excited that you have agreed to be part of things today with us thank you thank you for jumping on the zoom today oh thank you thank you craig thank you evan it's a it's always an absolute privilege and an honor yeah so thank you so much. I, yeah. I, I really believe that the honour is ours. And yes. It's, it, it absolutely is. So we thank you for taking your time. We we would love to have had you in the studio, you know. this that That's what I miss about, you know, when, when COVID just stirs things up or whatever and we we literally aren't able to have you in the studio with us. But just appreciate that you've taken the time and do the technology thing as you and, and Liberty Family Church do so well, which is this digital era that we're in, yeah. being able to pivot and being able to occupy a place in the spirit that's that's through those digital platforms and so really really appreciate of, of your time this morning uh and and really quite excited as to what the father might have us explore together uh, pastor kim um I don't, there's so many hats that you wear you are in in mine and many others estimation the the properly established apostle for our region on the central coast and i don't say that lightly i say that very very advisedly i've i've tracked in that space for some years and uh and feel that that's that's a proper recognition of of the grace on your life and we're, we're deeply appreciative of that leadership that you steward uh so faithfully um on behalf of us but you also wear the hat of of senior leader of senior pastor at liberty family church and you're also plugged in with the the network that pastor margaret court is involved in as well and you you also you know have have had um um uh, influence within um our, our government within prayer and and uh parliamentary prayer and so on you've had you know the the stretch and the reach that that you you've been afforded i know 
I'm even thinking just even just recently where we had, you know, the Stand Tall event, which is again another, you know, major initiative in, in New South Wales that you, you know, you've, you've provided a coverage over and, 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 and blessed and seen that enhance as well. I mean, there's, there just seems to be like so much that you, that, 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 that emanates out of you, which is emanating out of the throne room, which is emanating out of the Father's heart. One of the things that's been um, pivotal just in these last few months has been the focus on prayer. And I, and I really feel like when, whenever you get close to an apostle, a confidence in prayer it happens immediately. It's yeah. almost like synonymous. You, you can't be proximal or close to a, an apostolic leader, mm. properly a formed mm. apostle, and not immediately start to believe God for more than you could ever believe before. Yeah, a strong before. confidence. Yeah, yeah. Peers, yeah. yeah absolutely. Mm. And mm. I feel like you've brought that to the region with the Central Coast Regional Prayer Network mm. strategies, the, the T-cell strategies. Are, you know, these are things that are now becoming more and more commonplace in the language of the body of Christ. Um, Rima have been running those ads around the T-cell mm. prayer initiatives, just prayer triplets gathering together. Um, yeah. But but having an apostolically aligned prayer assignment each week, I mean, all these things were things that you had stored in your heart that now now I think that the region is being blessed by, you know, yeah. and, and, and there's been wonderful leadership being provided in all of that. Um, and so I just want to honour you and thank you for that. And and uh, and I, I noticed that uh, just recently you'd you'd contributed um, by way of a written prayer assignment just this week um, mm-hmm. to focus the saints on prayer. Um, so maybe we just start with with the conversation in that place of, of um, you know your heart for <coughs> prayer and your. You, you know what you believe in God to be able to accomplish in these days with us. I know the prayer assignment's been around um, around education and about around um, our authority as saints to pray and declare. What would you say to mm-hmm. the saints today? As we because we, we're all learning, really. We're we the saints here in the coast. We're learning how to pray. There's there's none too egotistical to say, oh look, I've got it all together. I know. <laughs> and so where I think we're actually saying, you know, um, Pastor Kim teaches how to pray, like. Um, you know, we're trusting the Holy Spirit to lead us in prayer. Um, we're figuring out how to have yeah. apostolically aligned prayer, not just, you know, the prayers of, of a former paradigm and so on. Yeah, there are seasons of prayer. Yeah. Pray. I mean, you, you, you start out as a youngster and, you know, most times you spend, you know, you talking to God instead of you listening. And it evolves into something else. I mean, everybody's prayer life is different, but it does evolve. It does change over time. And it gets better, actually. Well, I, I've just found personally that, Pastor Kim, you've, You've informed the way in which I pray personally, and that's been a, a great grace to me, a great help to me in terms of understanding who I am in God and how I can pray in God, and and there's things to discover, isn't there? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I actually, Craig, just hearing what you were saying there about when you said <clears throat> we don't know how to pray, I think that yeah. was well, that was really when I after I was born again and and. Um, I just, you know, I, I, I started to enter into my, my prayer life and, and I had absolutely no idea You're on right. how to pray. Yeah. And, um, you know, I feel like I still have no idea how to pray. Right. <laughs> that's that's the position um, yeah. that I go into prayer with. Um, I love it in Romans um, where eight, where he talks about the Holy Spirit, when we know not how to pray as we ought, the yes. Holy Spirit, yeah, yeah? Yes. Yes. he's the helper, he's the one that leads and guides in prayer. Amen. And I find that the the more um, I, the longer I've been praying, the long, you know, the, the more I I lean into him, and he's the one that is always, you know, leading me in all times, you know, being led by the Holy Spirit. Mm. He's the one that helps us, yeah. you know, when we know yeah. not how to pray the the leading of the um what you were talking about the regional prayer this week i just i felt an opportunity there to 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 position or help position our hearts in prayer yeah. now seated in that place of authority where we begin to declare and decree the answer where we speak mm. um for, for the entrance of his word to bring light amen, amen. and yeah. and um <clears throat> excuse me but but it's 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 always been an incredible um, journey for me in prayer. It's been a place of, of such honour and such privilege. Um, yeah. 
I, I remember when you're talking about the parliament, I remember many, many years ago when um, I was asked to be the New South Wales coordinator for the parliamentary prayer. Um, I felt so inadequate. I, I, mm. I, I thought, what are these people doing asking me to do this? You know, like they have got no idea mm. how um, how um, inadequate I am. <laughs> and uh, I told them, I said to them, you know, I absolutely, I know absolutely nothing about politics, no, and no. I do not feel equipped for this. Right. And it was, it was. They said to me, um, "Well, that's exactly what we're looking for." <laughs> How many you know, times have you um, heard that? Moses, and, and, David. Um, oh my goodness! <laughs> and, oh my and goodness. I remember, I remember one of our first um, parliamentary prayer breakfasts, and um, I was down there in Canberra, and we were walking through the corridors, and um, actually, um, it was Tony Abbott at the time that was walking us through the different and showing us around, and. Um, and I said to the Lord, Tony Abbott was showing us around. This is a screen. And, 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 and I, I said to the Lord, Lord, please do not bring anyone that I should know who they are to cross my path. I mean, I really don't want to, you know, because I won't have a clue who they are. And, oh, um, no. you know, like, <laughs> and because, uh, you know, I'm just so, you know, oh, dear, dear, dear. Anyway, so. And, you know, the Holy Spirit said to me, I thought he's absolutely so kind. He said, Kim, it's not what you know, mm. but it's who you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. And it's what you carry. Amen. You know? Amen. It's what you carry. And um, and so uh, they were really, really interesting times. Actually, uh, another story I have from that was... Sorry, we at, sorry um, Pastor Kim, if I can just interrupt yeah, for a second. Sure. Because I'm still sure. giggling inside about the idea that we've got... This intercessory giant that's in the parliament there to be to be praying, and one of the prayers is being prayed is, uh, "Don't let someone come across my path that I'm meant to know, because I won't know." <laughs> I know that's brilliant. I know it's so find real, yourself, isn't it? You know, it's brilliant. You've got to rely on Holy Ghost because that's right. You Amen. know, you think, "Wow, Amen. you know, like." Jeremiah moment, I'm only a youth, you know, help me out here, you know. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Anyway, anyway I, I remembered too another time it's being highlighted to me now when uh, one of our um, annual uh, parliamentary prayer breakfasts, um, it's, it, it was always, a, always a, a really wonderful, wonderful event and we were all, as the different states represented, we were placed it in these tables and each one of us was sat next to an ambassador. And, um, you know, um, Tim and I were at one table and, and I'm thinking, oh, Lord, you know, like here I'm sitting next to this ambassador of another nation, which I won't mention. Mm -hmm. And um, I had uh, absolutely no idea on how to approach this man. Right. When it came to the time of prayer, we were to prayer, and, and this man had a totally different belief system, but he was there as a, an ambassador for his nation. And Tim was also sitting next to one um, uh, as well um, who had totally different belief systems. And mm -hmm. we're sitting there, and um, and I said, Holy Spirit, please help me. Mm -hmm. Like here, here we have this prayer time where I'm meant to pray for this man. And, oh, the help of the Holy Spirit, you know. Mm, yes. And, and I, I said, help me, I, I, you know, how can I approach this man and be um, honourable to him, you know, and yeah. uh, and uh, also be effective in the prayer. Oh, amen. You know, I still amen. want to pray a prayer. I want <clears throat> an effective prayer. Come on. And, um, and so I asked him, I said, oh, you know, um, I said, how are your family? Ah, uh, right. Holy Spirit just gave me that word. Mm -hmm. Ask him how his family is mm -hmm. because he was separated <clears throat> from his family. Ah, uh, right. And, you know, he just began to weep and um, mm. he told me his concerns about his family. Wow. And we sat there and we prayed for his family. Yeah, beautiful. And, um, you know, one would think that you'd be praying about the, 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 you know, the cares and woes of the nation or the, you know, mm. the government, but there we are, you mm. see. Mm. You know, I believe heaven's government is family. And um, and I thought, wow, you know, like here he is sitting in Parliament House in, a, in this nation and, and we're praying for his wife and his children, mm. his extended family. So, yeah, the, the relying on the Holy Spirit in all times. You know, sometimes it's easier the, the less that you know 
you know yeah. the less white noise that you're listening to the more effective your prayers are Amen. because he's the one that leads and guides into truth in prayer he's the one that cuts through all the stuff you know yeah. all the ideas all the you know we can become authoritarians in prayer we can read the books we can you know we can become yeah. an authoritarian on many many subjects but that doesn't mean to say that we carry his delegated authority into an area unless we're leaning into him and we're saying lord what is your word Come on. what is your heart for this person and when we hear faith comes by hearing from God. Amen. And that faith, that confidence in prayer springs forth to pray for the family, to pray for the city, to pray for the region when we lean in. So, you know, like I really believe we're entering into this time of of knowing the Father's voice like never before. And I really Amen. feel that God's calling us as a region to step into um step out of the white noise. Yeah. Yeah, yep. to draw aside because we need to hear from him. We need wisdom from above. Yeah, amen, amen. Yeah, yeah. Pastor yeah. Kim, I'm I'm hearing an invitation in prayer. It's a posture from the place of I don't know, <laughs> and oh, so hallelujah. we can actually have ears hallelujah. to hear. You know, when yeah. when we posture yeah. ourselves from a place of I do know, and I I charge ahead with that agenda, that's it. You, yes. we, you, we run the risk of missing Holy Spirit's agenda for the purpose and the plan mm. of the prayer. But but you, I, I've heard your invitation this morning for those of you who are given to prayer and friends. You know, even if you don't see yourself as a prayer person, an intercessor, or a prayer warrior, or however you see yourself, you know, um, you're gonna at some point frame prayer in your life. Well, a great place it seems to me to start is I don't know, um, I don't know how to pray this through Holy Spirit. What do you want me to say? So that's a that's a very helpful um, kind of takeaway immediately mm. from from this morning's program. Is I don't know how to pray, Holy Spirit. We're relying on you, Pastor Kim. I'm I'm so grateful that we have you as our guest today from Liberty Family Church and uh, be teaching us a little and how to walk in prayer and cooperation mm-hmm. with the Holy Spirit. Our guest today, Pastor Kim Jones from Liberty Family Church. That's the correct name, isn't it? Liberty it, Family Church? It is. Okay, that's I know that because Holy Spirit gave them that. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Actually, that's part of the story, Pastor Kim, isn't it? That when is you were true. driving on the freeway one day and the Lord said to you, Liberty Family Church, you thought that's a great name for a church. When I find it, I'm going there. And, yes, uh, yes. Well, you know what? You were actually the one carrying that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Didn't have too far to look. <laughs> Instantly found Praise it. God. Praise so. God. I love that. I love it. And I love Liberty Family Church. It's one of the most delightful places to gather with the saints in. It's a, I don't know, it's a, a it's a precious, precious space of, of anointing and presence and joy and freedom. All the, all the wonderful things the King has afforded us as, as, as Christ followers, you know. And, uh, and so, uh, you know, faithfully building the local church there with Pastor Tim for, for years and years now, and uh, yeah. and we just celebrate that. We celebrate that, Pastor Kim. You've been teaching us on on how to pray. Um, I, I said before in the in the previous segment, I said uh, being close, being proximal to apostles automatically rubs off. It, it automatically builds a confidence in prayer. That's been my testimony. Having been closer to you, um, uh, I, I've I've sensed the growth and the stretch in that space of prayer and the the courage and the confidence to, to press in and believe God for even more. And and th- these are the days that we're in. Um, I noticed that uh, in the weekly prayer assignment, the Central Coast Regional Prayer Network uh, weekly assignment, I noticed that you 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 were you were helping us to understand that we start from a place of I don't know. Okay, so Holy Spirit, you need to teach me how to pray in this situation. What is the prayer that the inside that you have for me to pray in a given situation but but in the prayer network context then uh, it seems that you've drawn on the prophet Jeremiah uh, to talk through as saints properly established in Christ what we say matters what what comes off our lips what our declarations are are extraordinarily powerful and important is that is that the heart of it oh absolutely absolutely I, I um yeah, I, I really feel that, I mean, with aligning with the Word of God is, is so very important. We looked at, you know, we can see in Acts there where the apostles were, where the needs of the saints was getting more and more and, yeah. and, uh, and the apostles come together and say, we need to give ourselves to prayer and the Word. And it's interesting that they said prayer and the Word. Yeah, wow. So we're prayerfully seeking the Word. 
We need to prayerfully yeah. seek the word of the Lord. And when we seek the word of the Lord, when we hear the word of the Lord, when faith comes, when we hear that word, mm, yep, what yep. happens is authority. I believe that's at that point, the delegated authority is given for Come us on. to be his mouthpiece, Come on. for us to begin to declare and decree what he is saying. Yeah, right, yeah? right. Yep. And, yep. Um, and uh, you know, so that, 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 that intimacy, that, that, that place in prayer and entering into the word and, and finding the alignment, you know, there's prayer yeah. assignments Yep. that God has for us in this hour. And I really believe that as we define our place and we align with it, yeah, yeah, then those assignments are going to be given to us. Come on, and man. That's right. We find our place in prayer. It has many, many different, you know, areas that we could look, uh, you know, um, at that particular word in. But with prayer, it's defining my place in prayer, yeah? Amen. Positioning myself, yeah? Yep, yep. Yeah, aligning with the will of the Father. Yes, and being yeah. entrusted with an assignment to bring breakthrough into a nation. Amen. Amen. To find that word that Hallelujah. He gives, He says, "My word is like a hammer, wow. and it crushes every rock of resistance." Wow. That's where God's calling us to. You know, I'm getting this word wow. that over the last uh, 48 hours because I've been in fasting and prayer, mm-hmm. and the Lord has showed me. He said to me very, very clearly, "I am regrouping the troops." Come on. Oh, hallelujah. Come on. And I looked yeah. at that word regrouping. Yep. And um, it means to reorganize as after a setback. Okay. For renewed activity. I believe that we're being reorganized for renewed activity in the spirit. Come on. And Come in on. that we have to be aligned with the word of God. Yeah. yeah. We have to be speaking that word. We don't look at the whys and wherefores as to why we've been asked to pray in a certain area. Mm-hmm. We bring the word and we, we, we speak the answer. Yeah, Amen. Hallelujah. We begin to declare and decree. Amen. Come on. Come on. You know, Job said it, uh, you shall, it, it, it says that you will declare and decree a thing and it yes, shall be established, established and the Amen. light of God's favor will shine upon your Hallelujah. ways. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Mm. But, uh, you know, we're being positioned for assignments. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm hearing when you when you speak like that, I hear an invitation to join Christ the intercessor in Hallelujah. His intercession, yeah. and yeah. so and and so tied to that, I hear. And so now, well, the truth is, I got to tell myself the truth. I absolutely have the mind of Christ. Because I'm, you know, in Him and He is in me, and I and I I'm awake now to the fact. Actually, I'm seated with Christ in heavenly places, yes. um, and so immediately the shift begins. And and isn't it when you when you talk about the Word, and I, I'm hearing, actually, here is the living words intercession or prayer, or here is the living Christ, the living words, mm-hmm. heart for prayer in this circumstance. Mm-hmm. These, are, these are some of the thoughts mm-hmm. that are that are stirring within me as you speak, Pastor Kim. Mm-hmm. That's right. Well, he speaks about in Ephesians, doesn't it? He says, take up the sword of the, the spirit, the sword, the spirit, the, the word yeah, that the yeah. spirit wields, because on. that's the one that's powerful and effective. That's the word that we need to be wielding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in yeah. this in this time, but it's, it's what you said. That's call. I really believe that. I believe that there's a call to prayer, and I I believe that through it, through even now, like I really believe there's an alignment taking place. Amen. I believe that call to prayer is being heard. Amen. In the hearts of believers, I agree. Amen. Yeah, that yeah, those yeah. that have been caught up in the noise, in that all that white noise, are being positioned in their place of power. And I speak that out right now. Hallelujah. Being positioned in our place of power, Hallelujah. positioned for our assignments. Mm. And I really I really feel that like as intercessors, um, it's really our finest hour. Hallelujah. Yeah? It's our finest hour that mm. we're entering into because we're not wrestling. I keep on getting uh, over the, this, the last couple of days to this scripture. It's well known, but when it comes alive, mm. it's when it, when it comes alive in the heart of a believer, Oh, yeah, hallelujah. Come on, come on. You know, that, that's, that's, that's where we see results. That's where we see God wants to breathe on his words. You see, it's the spirit and the word of God. It's, yes. the, it's the word that the spirit of God is leading you into. It's the word that God wants to reveal Amen. that comes alive in the heart of a believer. Hallelujah. And when we take up that word and we begin to wield it, we begin to declare it, we begin to decree it, well, we see principalities and powers. Oh, hallelujah. Come on. They flee. Come on. But our wrestle, we're not wrestling against flesh and blood, church. 
Hallelujah. But we're wrestling against principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in the heavenly places. And that's where our authority is. Yes, yes. That's where our authority is when we're Hallelujah. seated in the heavenlies. Amen. I, I, I was speaking to a prayer partner, a friend of mine the other day, and uh, she said, Kim, I'll keep on getting head in the heavens and feet on the ground, head in the heavens mm, and feet on the ground. So good. Amen. We need so to be good. operating from a heavenly perspective. Oh, hallelujah. It, seated it. in heavenly places with Christ Jesus, hearing his word and declaring his word because we yes. became his mouthpieces. You know, yep. we're prophetic people. We were born again and we became yes. prophetic beings when we Amen. were born again. Amen. To speak the word, to be his mouthpiece here yes. on this wow. earth. But, you know, there's so many contending for our mouth in this hour. We have to yeah. know where our power is, yeah. where it lies, hallelujah, right. where we can make the difference. We need to know our lane Come because exactly. when we step into our graces Ooh. and into our lane, we're Come delegated on. authority to speak in those areas. So many are getting all this information and mm. speaking out the information, but they haven't been given delegated authority to speak into those realms into those spaces, mm. into those places. Amen? Yeah, and right. what can happen then is they just get annihilated. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah. And I heard someone wow. say that it's important to find your lane and do it well so there's no backlog of destinies. And I thought, wow. That's a good word. Wow. That's a good word. Oh, wow. That's a good word right yes. there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. You're not wrong there. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I really sound, mm. I really hear that sound. I wonder if you'd mind, Craig, if I if I just go back to that um, regrouping the troops. Yes, yeah, please. Um, I spoke to Tim about it because it's a, it's a word of the, the, the Lord. I came to him and I said, Tim, I'm hearing regrouping the troops. Right. What does that mean to you? Yeah. And um, he was saying um, that there's a saying amongst uh, former British commandos, and it goes like this. He said, old commandos never die. <laughs> Right. Hallelujah. And I was thinking about the Come redemption on, on so Come many on. intercessors yes. that have yes. been so disappointed over the years, even right across our nation, but of course oh, across this region. God. He said, old commandos never die. They just go somewhere else and regroup. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> okay. And he said wow. that during World War II, wow. commandos were constantly regrouping after battle due to the loss of men. Yeah. And yeah, I think right. we've had a lot of intercessors that have gone, you know, thought, oh, you know, what? <laughs> but, but he said it, they were constantly regrouping after the mm. after uh, uh, um, after battle due to the loss of men. They would regroup by amalgamating with other troops, plus taking in new recruits in order to form a new fighting force. Yeah, right. Then they would fight again then regroup again and so on. Mm -hmm. And I just felt that was so interesting, you yeah. know, that 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 there's that, that regrouping taking place. You know? Wow. And I believe that there's a there's yeah. there's such a hunger that God is releasing in the hearts of believers right now for us to yeah. actually position ourselves. I hear the sound. Wow. I hear the sound. I not only hear the sound of an abundance of rain, but I hear the sound of the army of the Lord. Hallelujah. Lay down lovers of God, laying their lives down. Wow. Laying our agendas down and taking up our God given assignments. Wow. wow. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> I, I tell hallelujah. You, like, all I can hear is redemption, redemption, mm. redemption. I, I'm That's hearing it. when mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. you've gone into battle and there's been casualties. And what mm -hmm. we know is that even in in national intercessory spaces, we've heard of casualties that have that have been happening. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Now, in a military sense, that that's the end of the road for some soldiers. They, they'll die in battle, right? But but in mm -hmm. the spirit and in intercessory stuff, no, no, that's this it. is the next opportunity to regroup. You're not taken regroup. out. You're not yep. disqualified. You actually need to find mm -hmm. yourself back in back in the company of, of believers to go again. And what you get. <laughs> is you get yeah. battle-hardened and ready. Yeah. You get greater preparation because you knew it. what happened that went wrong last time and you bring it, it now into your experience this time. That's well, it. I know how That's to. It. And now we're back to alignment, aren't we? Yeah. Now we're back That's to, it. hold on, Step there's a commander-in-chief. Yep. There's a commander-in-chief who gives the orders yep. and now we know how to go forward. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You well, learn. That's why yeah. I'm just getting those words too, hmm. Craig. Come so, on. So, sorry, Evan. I, I, um, set it's step in line. Yeah. Step in line. Mark in time. Take Come up on. your sword and your shield. Come on. And enforce the, enforce the victory, the spirit. Just Come on. 
the, the sword that the spirit wields. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I don't want to start preaching, but I... No, I, no, we want you to start you know? preaching. Yeah, that's not a problem. <laughs> yeah. I just see yeah. our, our regional <laughs> uh, prayer initiative is yeah. is so on my heart, you know. Yeah, man. This call to yeah. prayer. I, I, I just love to see an even greater... We've got a momentum kicking in, but... That's right. But just even a greater momentum, you know, um, it's just... Wow, you know that I, I, I didn't. I don't think it's by accident that in in, in one Timothy two, um, that <clears throat> we see in, in in chapter two verse one. I hope you don't mind me going. Is this okay, Craig? Yeah, please no, come on. Just go, go on with this go, for a sec. Yeah. Um, he says, first of all, first of all, yeah. You know, and the scripture says, then, first of all, then. Right. First of all, then I like to break it up, and you know, this is I just. <laughs> Holy Spirit, you just sat on that for me. Yeah, right. First of all, how many times I read this scripture, and I know it's a, yeah. it just opens up. I just get excited because I feel God's breath on it. First mm. of all, then I admonish and urge that petitions and prayers and intercessions and thanksgiving be offered on behalf of all men. Amen. Right? Yeah, yeah. It says first of all, and uh, I'm going to read the whole scripture just if you don't mind, prayers, intercessions and thanksgiving be offered on behalf of all men for mm. kings and mm. all those who are in positions of authority or high responsibility mm. that outwardly, let's listen to this, this is the word of God, Amen. that outwardly we may pass a quiet and undisturbed life and inwardly a peaceable one in all godliness and reverence mm. and seriousness in every way. For mm. such praying is good and right. Wow. And it is pleasing and acceptable to God, our Amen. Saviour, who wishes all men to be saved and increasingly to perceive and recognise and discern and know precisely and correctly the divine truth. Mm, the divine. Be saying, first of all, I want you to pray. Yeah. And I'm thinking, is that our go-to? Wow. Is it actually, our, as Christians, is prayer our first of all? Wow, wow. Is prayer our first of all? <laughs> or is gathering information wow. our wow. first of all? Wow. Is prayer our first of all? You know, what I have to fear myself, I have to be very wow. careful not to allow my passion mm. on certain subjects to, to sabotage my purpose. Yeah, wow. Well, and wow. I think, you know, I, I don't want my purpose mm. sabotaged. Amen. I can get passionate about things. You know, um, yeah. <laughs> you know. I mean, one of my highest strengths is belief, and yeah. I can get I can get really strong in that that and things I believe. But yeah. you know, the Holy Spirit is the believer's advantage. Hallelujah! He's our advantage. Is prayer our go to? Is prayer our first of all? And I really believe wow. that the Spirit of God is stirring us to say, first of all, my first call as a believer, as a born again mm. believer, my first call is to prayer and the Word. Hallelujah. Wow. You know, when I hear something, I'm going to go to prayer, God, yep. and I'm going to get your word on it, and I'm going to speak and declare and decree what wow. you're breathing on. Wow. Amen. What you're breathing on, Amen. I'm going to decree. What wow. you're breathing on, Come on. I'm going to meditate Hallelujah. it, and I'm going to decree it, I'm going to declare it, and I'm, man, God, Holy Spirit, help me put a watch mm. over my mouth. Mm. Yes. Because I believe the authority and this day is increasing in our lives, and the more we can watch our mouth, the greater authority, the greater doors of utterance will be open to us. Wow. Utterances in the spirit. There'll be many Christians that are called to actually have a platform and bring something mm. in the natural. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, but but they're going to be anointed and appointed to do that. We need to stay within our lanes. Come and on. actually, Paul said to them, "Pray that an effective door of utterance would be open to me." There's there's a place for the prayers to pray for the effective doors of utterance to Come be on. open to those that are in places of natural governmental authority to speak. Amen. Amen. I like what you said there. Don't let your passion sabotage your purpose. Your purpose. Yes. Because yeah. I've seen a lot of it's people. It's a good word, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. I've seen a lot of people get a great yeah. idea and they throw so yeah. much time in that that the spiritual takes a back seat. And that really should mm -hmm. lead in your passion mm -hmm. that should go first mm -hmm. it's like when they sent the band mm -hmm. out first before war that's it. worship went first then war came later it's that's like it. this passion mm -hmm. just overtakes you and you run at it and all common sense just runs out the window and you end up doing Ooh. things like how did i get here was this a good idea that's because that your passion so overtook your purpose 
Yeah. That is such a nice awesome word. I love that. I love that. I love that analogy, though. I love that we said that, that their worship went yeah. before that. They'll, That's correct. I mean, we're ready for war. We're yeah. ready to take these That's guys right. on. Yeah, yeah. So we're going, we're going, oh, hallelujah. Amen. See, just stand still <laughs> and see the salvation Man. of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Is it time to baptize somebody? Come on. You know, I'm feeling on. it at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I, oh, so cool. My mind has gone to a friend of ours, um, Pastor Izzy, and she she was talking about, you know, people say, oh, well, realistically, blah, blah, blah. And she goes, yeah, but jesically, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> there's realistically and then there's jesically, yeah, like jesusly. <laughs> Yeah. And, um, Pastor yeah, Kim, what you're good. sharing with us today, brilliant, brilliant insights in mm. prayer, very, very helpful stuff. I, My testimony is this. There's so many times that I've come to you with an idea, with a strategy, with a thought from God. I've, I've basically brought a, 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 something for you to consider, to, to posture it for your consideration, and you know, and I'm anticipating, all right, well, I'll I'll come back to you with this at some point, and sometimes that's the answer. But, but invariably the answer is, no, I'm all prayed up, Craig. I know the word of the Lord in this, and 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 you're, and so when you when you speak with you know into this context, as listeners are hearing today, my testimony is that this is actually how you walk your walk, and I think that's why we're all better when we're aligned apostolically, and why why confidence in prayer is always increased with proximity to the apostle is because the apostles are actually lives laid down prayer first, prayer first, prayed up prayed first, ready to go, and so the confidence is there in how to walk forward. You're listening to Pastor Kim Jones on uh, 94.9 today in the New Expressions program. Pastor Kim from Liberty Family Church. We're going to take a break and then pick it up where we left off in a moment. And you're listening to 94.9 on the FM dial or a bunch of people that are online uh, are doing that because we're in the online world, right? I like that, a bunch of people. A whole bunch of people, like, you know, tens of millions, actually, <laughs> all across the world. Uh, hundreds of millions, I think, is the latest Amen. update. Potentially into the billions now listening That's to right. the New Expressions That's program. Right. Well, if we count the angelic hosts that are all tuned in, they're, well, they're well, they because the words being spoken <laughs> this morning. They there. <laughs> go. Oh, bless, bless God. Um, Rima 94.9 is is the FM dial, but Rima.cc, um, you can listen to this podcast. This will be packaged up as a podcast this... Um, today. It'll be today. Right. Yeah, right okay, so it'll whack up on the website right about and, and you can re-listen to this. If, you're, if you've been listening today, you're listening to Pastor Kim Jones from Liberty Family Church, the apostle, if you like, that's been uh, positioned here on the region of the Central Coast, helping us with prayer and particularly how to pray and the, the posture of that. There's been so many takeaways Eben, hasn't there yeah, already this it's morning? Been it's a like, really good segment. Yeah, it's a re listen to mm. um, this one for sure. The other thing you can do is just jump on Rima Replay and listen hour by hour as well. It's another opportunity. Yes. But this will be packaged up as a podcast so you can hear it some more. Pastor Kim, uh, it is such an honor to have you with us. We really, really appreciate you know the words that are emanating out of your heart um, for our region and, and for the saints on how we might align properly and, and see you know a great day in prayer uh, established for us as the saints. Um, there's there's so much that you've kind of canvassed on um, this this morning. Uh, one of the things that you introduced the listeners to the, earlier was um, this idea of white noise and being being very careful about what we're listening to, what's coming in, and what we're letting out of our mouths is really really important in this day. Um, Evan, you even talked to it about you know your own practice of of you know filtering out what we are going li- to listen to, what we're actually going to say and sp- speak and pray. Mm. Um, I I think I think uh, you know in this season this is more critical than we realize because I think our words are more powerful and more creative than we could ever have imagined um, and and Pastor Kim I wonder if you could just speak to that for a moment just to encourage the saints on hey look, let's be really careful about the the white noise that you refer to outside mm. the stuff that we're listening to and also mm-hmm. let's just be absolutely purposeful about what we let out of our mouths mm-hmm. Do you want to just speak to that for a moment? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I was talking before about um, speaking about that positioning ourselves, right. you know, and um, and then when we went to Timothy, first of all, oh, so when I'm it. hearing something, it's yeah. first of all. Yeah. You know, but, but, but I really believe that, that there's, you know, if we position ourselves in a place of hearing from God, we're not going to be, our go-to isn't going to be what, the media is saying what right. every you know everyone's right. saying it can't be because that's not where our power is right good you know good. i love in habakkuk habakkuk what did he say he said i will stand upon my watch yeah yep 
and set me upon the tower. Hallelujah. Mm. Yeah. You know, we were talking before about, you know, we're seated in heavenly places. He said, mm. and set me upon the tower and I will watch and see what he will say unto me. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, hallelujah. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to wait and see. I'm going to watch and see what he says to yeah. me because what he says is going to paint the picture that I need to be keeping my eyes on, yep. that I need to be keeping my focus on. Yep. And what I shall answer when I am reproved. Mm, right. Amen? Yeah, man. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision, make it plain upon the tables that, that he may run that readeth this, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. Right. right. Right? But at the end it shall speak. Come on. The evidence of our prayer, the evidence of what we speak, it's going to speak. Amen. It's going to speak. All will be Come able on. to see it and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. <laughs> it will surely come. Wow. wow. He says, when Amen. I hear from him and yeah. I see what he's saying, it's going to come. Come on. Amen. Come on. It will not tarry. Behold, mm. his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. So he's yeah. saying, I'm going to position myself. Jesus. I'm going to see what the mm. Lord is saying. Yep. Amen. And he, the, at the end of it, he says, at the end of that scripture, he says, the just will live by faith. I'm going to live by faith, by faith. Amen. Trusting that I've heard from him. Yeah. When, when he speaks to me, when I see what he is seeing, when I position myself to see what he is seeing. You see, we're prophetic people. Yeah, we're prophetic man. by nature. We, 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 we see further than the natural Come eyes on. can see. On, I want to see further. I don't want to be on damage control. So I don't want to be on maintenance. So I want to be on the prophetic edge. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. So if I station myself, Upon my place, on my, mm. this is our watch. Yeah, yeah. Right this now. is our watch. Yep. This We're is positioning our ourselves. Mm-hmm. We need to hear what he is saying. At so many ears, yep. we can incline our ear to so many opinions. Mm. Yep. Right. So many opinions. But as born again believers, we want the word of the Lord. Yes. Yeah. Amen. And I tell you something: if the news is affecting your belief system. Or if it's if, mm. if, if, if it's if it's in opposition to what the scriptures are saying to you, if it's in opposition to what the Lord has shown you, because He knows what I He says, I know the thoughts that I have for you. Yes. <laughs> Come on. Thoughts that give you a hope in the future and your Come final on. outcome. Come on. Amen. I know the thoughts. If if it's against that, if it's not in line with that, what are we doing? Right. Yes. Wonderful. You know, it's it's Wonderful. like in Jeremiah. I love Jeremiah. He says, "In the word of the Lord came to me, saying, before I formed you, and we know." Well, he spoke to him and he said, "I can't. I'm only a youth. How can I speak?" Yeah. Yes. You know. Yeah. How can I speak? Mm. But the Lord said in in, in Jeremiah uh, one. Uh, one nine, he says, Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched mm, my mouth. Yeah. And the Lord said to me, Behold, I have put my words in, in your, your mouth. mouth. That's right. There it is. Mm. There it is. I have mm. put my words in your mouth. And it, it goes mm. on later in the chapter and says, and says, I have made you. I, I have put my words. Speak what I am saying. Wow. You are well, telling you know, the if, truth. If we spend time seeing what he is saying, Lord, what are you saying? Hmm. Come on. And I'm going to speak what you're going to say. He says that you speak truly. I am watching over my word. Yes. To bring my word to pass. Come on. Come on. Praise God. I tell you, there's somebody else that wants to hijack our destiny. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the scripture says in Proverbs that death and life are in the power of your tongue, and those that use will eat the fruit of it. Yes. Ah. Mm hmm. And, wow. you can toss, and, yeah, and you can toss near what you're talking about, you know, if the news is affecting you, take every word captive. Every word. That's so it. Yeah. Let, That's let's it. translate that. Take every news story captive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, if it, and if it's yeah. trying to exhort itself, hang on. Take mm-hmm. that captive. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. And get the word Amen. of the Lord on it and decree that. That's right. Come on. Yeah. I was yeah. teaching yeah. A, a group of evangelists in, in, from an evangelism school in Western Australia last night via Zoom, right? And so I was up till midnight last <laughs> night teaching this class because it was convenient for their timing, not mine. But um, I, sh- I shared with them, did you know that overnight, last 24 hours, there's been 174,000 brand new believers added into the kingdom? 
overnight in the last 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow night, in 24 hours from now, there'll be another 174,000 brand new believers added into the kingdom. And people say, oh, well, are they real believers? Are they, you know, how do we know that they've really made a real decision to follow Jesus? And it's like, well, the vast majority of these are making decisions on pain of death. In Pakistan, in India, in Iran, in Iraq, they're making the, in China, they're making decisions knowing it could well cost them their lives. I'm going to tell you, the decisions being made at the moment with when Isaiah prophesied of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end he wasn't making it up it's true right. and the Lord That's is watching right. over that word to fulfill it and and this I can't help but think is so tied to let's get the word of the Lord this is what the word of the Lord is let's get into yes. prayer and agree with that and decree that because that's what's happening kingdom of God is yes. advancing in our midst Pastor Kim we've just got Amen. a few more moments I, I'm happy for you to take this wherever I know that you touched uh, just off air a moment ago on on the fact that the angelic beings, the angelic hosts are actually positioned waiting for the saints to declare the word of the Lord so they can get active on it. Amen. Do you want to just speak yes. into that for yes. a moment? Yes, well, they are. They're hearkening unto the voice of the Lord. Yeah, come on. As angels hearken unto the voice of the Lord. Right. Amen. Right. So yeah. I believe that there's positioned, there's, there's angels that are warrior angels. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. I love that when, you know, the Lord said to me years ago, he said, when you speak, warrior angels are released. Wow. Wow. Amen. But see, they're waiting, Amen. they're waiting to be released on the earth right now because we are the ones that carry the authority to wow. release them on earth. Come on. Come and on. the way we release them on earth is through our words. Wow. Okay. Yeah. It's good. They're waiting for the word of the Lord to be released in their assignments. But we in the, we need to take up our prayer assignments. Mm, yep. Hear the word of the Lord. Yep. Become the mouthpiece of the Lord. Yes. So that they hearken unto the Come voice on. of the Lord. Wow. Right? And are released into their assignments. Now Come Evan on. was speaking earlier about they didn't have to fight. Because the, the enemy was self annihilated. Mm, that's right. That's right. Mm. Amen. Come on. They stood still and saw the salvation of the Lord. They just Hallelujah. obeyed the instruction of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So we hear that word of the Lord. We not 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 our not we don't just take up a scripture and read it. We can. Mm. I mean it's a wonderful way of but I want to hear yeah. the word of the Lord. This is yeah. how the apostles went to prayer and yeah. the word. Yes. See, as in prayer, he'll open out that word. Come on. And Come we on. see the battle. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> you know, there's so many more for us that are against hallelujah. us. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. But, but, but they hearken unto his voice. Amen. They want to hear his voice. I, I just want to read there in Jeremiah 1, yeah, 7. He said, yeah. but the Lord said to me, do not say I'm but a youth. For you shall go into all to whom I send you. Go to whom he sends you Amen. to speak to, as we, we covered a little bit before. Yeah, yeah. And whatever I command you, you shall speak. Amen. Whatever I command you, you shall speak. Yeah. And then he goes on in that chapter to say, you have seen well for I watch over my word to bring it to pass. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. And this, and you know, we're going to stand in. We're going to see ourselves standing in that place. I don't know yes. how. Of I know not how. Yeah, come on. <laughs> because you know what, we're not fighting with our flesh. That's right. That's right. And we're not fighting flesh and blood. Come on. No. But principalities and powers and spiritual yes. wickedness in heavenly places. And I tell you something: if we do it His way. Will enforce the victory. Amen. Come on, right. bless the Lord. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Friends, you've been listening to Pastor Kim Jones from Liberty Family Church. What an incredible honour to hear you um, teaching us something of prayer and the strategies of heaven in, in this day, um, seeing the, the release of angelic hosts, the posture of humility of I know not how, and watching him deliver the day of sal the, the, the salvation of our God for our region. So, um, Pastor Kim, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you. We honour you and thank love you. We appreciate all that you bring. Amen. And uh, so blessed. Thank you so much for your time today such a privilege thank you thank you so much we'll see you next Bless week you. folks you've been listening to an encore presentation of new expressions which can be heard live every friday morning at 10 a.m on 94.9 rima central coast